Who was the real Bjorn Ironside? Hi, Vikings fans. If you love a good Viking warrior, you have probably heard of the famous Bjorn Ironside, warrior, raider, and son of the infamous Ragnar Lothbrok. But how much of what you know about Bjorn is based on historic fact, and how much is based on Hollywood reimagining? In today's film, we are going to uncover the real Bjorn Ironside. Who were his parents? When did he live? And what were his real achievements? If you want to learn even more about Bjorn Ironside or any other Viking heroes, visit our website www.blog.vkngjewelry.com www.blog.vkngjewelry.com There you will find posts about many of the most fascinating Viking chiefs and warriors, as well as posts on mythology, religion and customs, plus our collection of Viking-inspired jewellery. Let's get started. First question first. Was Bjorn Ironside a real person? The simple answer is yes. Bjorn Ironside was a 9th century Viking raider who raided across Scandinavia, France, England and the Mediterranean. He was one of the many sons of Ragnar Lothbrok and his story is recorded in the book of Ragnar Lothbrok and his sons. But this saga is far from a historic record. It mixes history and legend and combines the deeds of many Viking warriors to make its protagonists seem more interesting. Nevertheless, we can confirm the basic facts that Bjorn Ironside was a real person, was considered a son of Ragnar Lothbrok, and that he lived in the 9th century, as these details are confirmed by a few contemporary sources, specifically the Annales Bertiniani and the Chronicon Fontanellensi. Bjorn was a son of Ragnar with his third wife, Asluk, who he married after divorcing Lagatha and after his second wife, Thora, died. Ragnar met Asluk while raiding the Norwegian coast. Asluk is said to have been the daughter of Sigurd and Brynhild, the legendary dragon slayer and Valkyrie of Wagner's opera. Asluk lost her parents at a young age and lived with a poor family that called her Kraka and hid her parentage. Despite her apparent humble origins, Ragnar fell for her looks and wit. Together, Ragnar and Aslug had several sons. Ivar the Boneless, Bjorn Ironside, Vitzerk, Rogenwald, and Sigurd Snake in the Eye. So Bjorn was not Ragnar's oldest son, or even the oldest of his five sons with Aslug. Ragnar already had a son, Fridleif, with Lagatha, Uba with an unknown woman, and Eric and Agnar with Thora. Bjorn probably had some sisters and half-sisters as well, but their names have not survived through history. Far from being an enemy of Ivar, Bjorn spent his early adult years as a raider with Ivar. When Ragnar became king of Denmark, he followed the custom of expelling his younger sons in order to get them out of the way. It seems that he kept his two sons with Thora with him, and expelled all of his sons with Asluk. This was hardly a rejection. They were given ships and the opportunity to prove themselves. The brothers set their sights on Scandinavian territories, setting themselves up in Zealand with the oldest of them, Ivar the Boneless, as their leader. From there they raided Jutland, Gotland, Oland, and other minor islands. While Ivar seems to have been the strategist of the group, Bjorn was known as the Muscle and was considered a particularly ferocious warrior whose presence could turn the tide of battle. This is what earned him the nickname Ironside. The pressure that their presence put on the Swedish king led their older brothers, Erik and Agnar, to go to the king and request his surrender. But rather than surrender, the king killed them. Bjorn and his brothers took their revenge on Sweden conducting brutal raids on the territory, burning, pillaging, and killing everyone they encountered. Eventually, as a result, Sweden became a territory of Ragnar. Having secured conquests in Scandinavia, the brothers parted ways and each conducted his own raids in other parts of Europe. We hear of Bjorn in France in 855, where he sailed up the Seine 
and assaulted the forces of Charles the Bald. While he did not defeat the French forces, Bjorn created a fortress for himself on the island of Oiselle near Rouen, where he conducted raids, including on Paris. Unable to dislodge Bjorn and his Viking warriors, Charles the Bald soon came to an agreement with Bjorn, letting him keep the territory that he had won in exchange for respecting the rest of his kingdom. In 861, Bjorn sailed around the Spanish Atlantic coast and into the Mediterranean, bound for home and her riches. On the way, they sacked Pisa and ended up at Luni, which he mistakenly thought was Rome. Seeing the defenses of the city, he decided that a siege would take too long and so resorted to trickery. The Vikings sent a message to the Bishop of Luni, saying that their leader was either dying or dead, and at the last minute, he had converted to Christianity and wanted to be buried on sacred ground. The bishop was taken in and led a small group of Vikings into the city. Upon passing the city gates, Bjorn jumped up, either from his sickbed or his coffin, and held the gates to let the Vikings enter the city. Despite their success, the Vikings did not continue on to Rome, deciding that it was just too far. The brothers found themselves reunited in 866 by the death of their father. Made arrogant by his success, Ragnar raided England with just two ships and was captured and killed by King Ayla of Northumbria, who apparently threw him into a snake pit. Seeking vengeance, the brothers descended on England with 400 ships and set themselves up in York, where Ivar the Boneless had created a stronghold and found allies. Together they led a great heathen army that devastated England and destroyed the forces of King Ayla. The king himself they tortured to death. According to the stories, they carved an eagle into his back and then salted the wound. After this, they extracted his ribs with a sword in such a way that it also pulled out his lungs, eventually killing him. After avenging his father, Bjorn Ironside became the king of Sweden, or at least the part of it around Uppsala and the center. Nothing is recorded about the death of Bjorn, but it may have been peaceful, as he was succeeded to power in Sweden by his son Eric, who was in turn succeeded by the son of Bjorn's other son, Reifil. Bjorn may have had more sons and daughters, but no other information survives about his wife and children. Bjorn is credited with founding a dynasty that ruled in Sweden from the 860s until 1060, called the House of Munsu. The dynasty is named after a barrow found on the island of Munsu in the 18th century, which antiquarians claimed belonged to Bjorn. Thus, Bjorn's legend lived on and became part of the fabric of Swedish culture. What do you think of Bjorn Ironside? Does his real story live up to the legend and Hollywood hype? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to learn more about Viking history, mythology and culture, visit our website www.blog.vkngjewelry.com There you will also find our collection of Viking-inspired jewelry, including some nice bear-inspired pieces that celebrate Bjorn, which means bear in Old Norse, Ironside.